in a city of nearly 600,000. These three men, because it's the first time, you know, leaving home, share a connection. Yeah, I was 21. Their youth is preserved in pictures. And I was drafted, I didn't intend to go. All three were drafted into the military. If it weren't for God, I wouldn't be here today. The Vietnam War. <sighs> A newspaper photo shows Roosevelt Hobson on the battlefield more than 50 years ago. His words take us to the front line. What really messed me up when my partner got killed, we was going through the bush and I said, follow me. Don't worry about nothing. The next thing I know, he went another way and, and they got him, but um, I got the guy that got him. Hobson served from 1969 to 71, a Bronze Star and Purple Heart recipient. I told him, I, I, I got a feeling I'm going to get hit tonight. They said, wow, huh? Is it for real? I said, yeah, I, I got that feeling. That feeling became reality. Next thing, they came in from everywhere. Did you get hit? I got hit right in here, in the knee. And I fell down, I tried to get back up. And I said, I'm hit, I'm hit. And that was on your birthday? On my birthday. His 22nd birthday. You had a premonition yeah. that that was gonna happen? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Like Hobson, Bob Moten and Bobby Bell were also in the Army. We didn't have nothing to hide behind. And uh, they killed everybody on my right side. And so uh, they came down to me and they shot all the way around my helmet and they missed me, and I ran for my life. I said, God be with me, and I just ran. He ran to safer ground, then heard a voice. He got his arm shot in half. He was calling for me to come back out there and help him. So then I turned around, and after I cleaned my weapons, I was straight back out there, so I was dragging him with one arm. I had to raise up the drag, drag him one arm, and so they would shoot at me real heavy, and I had to duck down and play dead, and then I would drag him a little bit more. The friend you went back to save, you said you lost his arm. He's from Milwaukee? Yes. Bell was also injured during the war, awarded a Purple Heart and Silver Star. When I came back, I was thinking that everything would be okay. The return home for all three had its own challenges. I remember getting off the plane when I first got home. The first thing I did was got on my knees and kissed, kissed the ground out of Metro Field. But as I'm walking through the pick of my, my duffel bags and stuff like right there, Hey, I heard what y'all done over there in Vietnam. And I looked at this person and I said, well, how you gonna know what I did over in Vietnam? You were not there. It's a lifetime experience that no one that's ever been over there will ever forget about. I got back home, it was terrible. People treated you like trash. The job I supposed to went back to, they wouldn't accept me. And I was promised that job before I left. And when I came back, I didn't see any progress because I couldn't rent on 18th and Capitol. And they told me the reason why they didn't rent to me was because of the color of my skin. I finally was able to rent on, on Atkinson Street. And I got sentimental about that house. The first house I ever rented, I still got it today. <laughs> because I wanted to remind myself of just how far I came. When they came together for this interview, I just know who well you were, me. man. I knew I knew Two of them. I know your friends, too. Oh, yeah, we were like on, on a flight together. <laughs> Realized they were on the same honor flight trip to Washington, D.C. last November. What was that experience like for you? That was a beautiful experience, you know. You go up to the Vietnam Memorial, thing, you can feel the spirit. I was able to get their names off of the wall, you know, and bring them home with me. Now, a few months later, another honor. For the first time in its 39-year history, the Black Excellence Awards will honor African-American Vietnam War veterans. These men are among the 12 veterans being recognized. They went out of their way to find the Black Vietnam veteran to be the honoree this year. And I am so proud, I don't know what to do. I was glad about it too. We needed that. I know I needed it. A recognition of their service to the country and service to the community they call home. In addition to their military service, all 12 honorees have been involved in community service as well.
it's so hard not to get emotional listening to right. them tell their story. Uh, they did so much for our country, and 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 it and it really does fill you up with emotion watching them and say that. As we heard, they're so proud to be recognized finally after all of these years. Uh, Twelve yeah. Vietnam veterans being recognized tonight. Absolutely.